Welcome back. It's the most common internal cancer in men. It's prostate cancer, and it kills about 29,000 Americans each year. Early detection can improve your odds. Dr. Timothy Quinn, who practices family medicine in Ridgeland, joins us now live to talk about screening for prostate cancer. First of all, Dr. Quinn, I notice you're wearing gloves, yes. but is there more than one way to screen for prostate cancer? Well, today I have some really good news. Uh, you know, in the past, you know, all men were expected to get that rectal exam, yeah. but due to a lot of different organizations, to include the United States uh, Service and Prostate uh, Screening uh, Guidelines from different organizations, to include the American Academy of Family Physicians, the rules have changed. Oh, good. Men now have a choice. And basically, with these new guidelines, it states that men aged 55 to 69 should engage in shared decision making with their medical providers to include their medical doctor so that the doctor can talk about the risks, the benefits, uh, the, the advantages, who's high risk, and really educate the patient. And then the doctor and the patient together decide what options they would like to choose. Some guys are just not going for that rectal exam, so there's some other ways you can go about it, right? That, that is correct. And the, and the cool part about it is it's considered standard of care to choose maybe for the doctors to, <laughs> to take the gloves off and, and, and allow the patients to choose other alternatives such as myself. I choose to do the PSA, which stands for prostate-specific antigen. And as long as it's less than four nanograms per milliliter, it's considered a person to be safe. But if they, they choose to do the blood test, it's fine. And what's happening is, as the information is getting out to the community, doing, doing programming such as this, many more men are coming to the doctor. And a lot of these men that are coming because they know that they now are empowered with a choice because you know men, we like to be in charge. Oh, we do. These men are telling me, Doc, I hadn't been to the doctor in over 10 years because I didn't want that test, but now that I have the option, hey, let's go ahead and do a physical. And the cool part about it is we're diagnosing men with high blood pressure, diabetes, even heart disease. And we're able to get them on treatments such as medications, lifestyle changes. And for some men, we're referring them to the cardiologist. Hey, we're saving lives. That is, that's exactly what it's all about. Now, what age do you first need to get this exam done, either by the blood or with the traditional uh, finger? Well, the cool thing is, with the new guidelines, it's advised not to have a specific age, but to educate and talk about risk factors, such as if a man is African American, yeah. if he has a positive family history, if he has symptoms, such as blood in the urine, problems yeah. urinating, uh, sexual dysfunction, that man may be screened earlier. Some boards are suggesting as early as 40 years old, some are saying 45. But it's not, it's not specific, it's not, it's not individualized, it depends on that specific person. But that's why we encourage all men to go see your medical doctor and have a conversation. And then that way, that man and his medical provider can have a decision that's very well informed that's best for his specific care. That sounds good. And Dr. Quinn, uh, one last thing. Will almost everybody get prostate cancer, every man, if they live long enough? Does it just kind of pop up in almost everybody? Well, the Mayo Clinic uh, quoted one in six men have a high probability of having prostate cancer in their lifetime. I mean, like okay. you said, according to the CDC, it's the second cause of cancer death in men. Okay. But they, the, the different boards don't want it to be specific, but they want it to be uh, basically a discussion. And depending on that man's risk factors, depending on that depends on basically how often he should be screened. But the most important thing is that conversation between every man and his medical provider. And that way we can help our community become, become even safer and continue to be safe. Thank you so much, Dr. Timothy mm -hmm. Quinn, a family medical practitioner out of Richland, Mississippi. Thanks for taking a little time with us. You're watching 12 News at noon.